there. So we're live over here at Heather's Hobby Haven, and we're going to be coloring this adorable, some odd girl stamp called Baker May. I'm going to give everybody a couple of minutes to join me and say hi, check in so they can, I know there's somebody here with me today to chat with. So next week, um, I've decided we're going to do this adorable um, Sassy Cheryl stamps image called Final Destination, and we're going to color him with our Prisma color pencils. Sorry, I don't have him finished. I started coloring him this morning, and this is as far as I have gotten. I haven't used my colored pencils in a while, so um, I... It was a little bit of a challenge, but I'm going to finish him up and I will get him posted over on the store blog so you can see what he looks like and the colors I use so you can go pick those up and get them ready for next week's live stream. And then the week after that, we are going to be doing this cute saturated canary image called Little Ladybug. Isn't she totally adorable? And I have given you a coupon. If you'd like to pick her up, you can use coupon code JULY20. And that's good until the 19th for 25% off. So you can go grab her and I will ship her out to you and you'll have her in time to color on July 20th for our live stream on that day. We'll be doing her. And if you have ideas for what you want to do after that, um, make sure to leave me a comment so that I can write it on my list so um, that we can do something the following week. But I'm going to try to do a card kit every other week and then the in-between weeks do something different. So watercoloring, colored pencils, we can do a different Copic image if you've picked one, but different stuff. Also, I'm also running a coupon for Copics in case you wanna pick up some Copics to color one of your card kits. You can use coupon code Copic, C-O-P-I-C. -C. That's good until the 12th of July for a dollar off of each of those. So Baker May here, we're gonna go ahead and get started coloring her. So I have her all printed out or stamped out here. I have two, you have the girl, and then you get um, a little hat with your cute, with your um, stamp set. You also get this little sentiment and a little sentiment that says, I think it says party, I can't remember now, and I don't have the stamp set in here with me, but you get two sentiments with her. So let's put her over here. And we're not going to um, outline her today because we're going to cut her out. So let's go ahead and start by doing her skin. And for that, we're going to use E53, 51, and 50. And then for her cheeks, I'm going to use R20 and 30. So I'm going to use these. Let's go ahead and we're going to start with our E53. Let's see if we can get just a little bit closer. Wrong way. Let it catch up there. We'll see how close that is. I'm going to go ahead and start down here on her leg. So I want to do my E53 and I'm going to put this over here. So that I can color from this side and not knock it over. So I want to do the back side of her legs. So we're going to do from this way. So I want to do underneath of her dress. And then I'm going to brush away from her leg. I'm going to go around her knee right there. And work my way down to her shoe. Then we'll add E51. And we're going to go right over the top of our E53. And then I'll go over both of those with my E50. probably give it a couple of coats because it's kind of light. So I'll again go with my E53. And 
and then we'll do E51. And again, I go right over the top of that E53. And then we'll grab E50. And we'll do the other leg. So let's start with E53. And again, we're just going to go underneath of her dress. And then the back side of her leg. I'm going to go around her knee. And her leg's a little bit bigger on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and brush out a little bit further. And then we'll do E51. E50. And then I'm going to give it a second coat. So I want to go with my E53. And then E51. Hopefully everyone's enjoying their summer so far. Got kind of gross cloudy weather today. And we're going to go with E50. But we're hoping that'll all burn off and we'll have a little bit of sunshine later on in the day. I'm still waiting for that really hot weather to come around, but we haven't had that yet. Soon, maybe. We don't have rain, we just have clouds, so that's an improvement. There we got our legs there. We're going to hop up here and we're going to work on her arms, and they aren't too big, so we're going to go with our E53. Hi Trish, thanks for joining me. I almost forgot to text you that it was coming up. So we're going to go right along the bottom of her arm. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with my E51. Because they're pretty small. I think I'll still give it a second coat. So let's go with our E53. Did everybody have a great 4th of July? We actually had a lot of sun that day, so the kids got to play in the pool and, and have some fun. And then we're going to go with E51 to fill that in. And it seems all our little people here have come down with some kind of bug, so they're kind of passing it around. Hi, hi Cloud9, thanks for, for joining us. Isn't she pretty cute? I'm going to adjust my chair here. I don't know what's... I sat down in it wrong, and it's kind of squeaky. So we're going to go with E53 over here. And then for her face, I want to give her a little bit of a nose there. So I'm going to move my cap over here so I don't knock it over. 
I'm going to give her a little bit of a nose. So let's go above her eye. Let's see, we want to curve it down. So I'm kind of visualizing where I want it to go. So let's go like this. Just give it a little bit of a line there so that she's got a little bit of a shadow. Then we're going to take this and we're going to go underneath of her hairline. And we're going to come back down this way. I'm going to do her ear a little bit. And along her face. And I'm going to come back down and go down her neck. And she's got a little bit of skin showing right underneath that necklace. I'm just going to fill that in because I know I'm going to completely forget about it. So I'm just going to do it now so I don't have to worry. Then we are going to add E51. So don't forget, girls, if you have an idea of what you want to do in a future video or a future live stream to make sure and let me know so I can write it on my list. Next week, we're going to do um, colored pencils. So that will be something new. And I haven't used my pencils in a while, so when I got them out last night, it was a little daunting, but I'm going to wing it. I'm going to bring this one. I want to leave her eye white right around her eyebrow, so I'm going to go or around her face right here. So I'm going to go around this, like that. I'm going to give it two coats. I know it looks silly now, but it'll be fine once we get finished. Then we're going to add E50. Then we're going to add some cheek colors. We're going to go with our R20. And let's go. I'm going to use the corner for a little um, under her eye right here as my starting point. I'm just going to flick away from the edge of that cheek. And then over here, same thing. I want to use this little kind of a little pointy spot and go from right there. Visualize it a little triangle point coming over here to her hair. Then we'll add R30. And for this, I like to do just a little bit on the edge. Just to soften it just a little bit. And my pin, I just barely touch the paper with it. So it's just barely flicking a little bit of color on there. Gives them a nice little pink tone. I'm going to use, for colored pencils for next week, I'm going to use my Prisma color pencils. And when I do my blog post, I will put, if you don't have some, I'll put a link to those at the bottom of the post so you can go grab some up. I don't sell them in the store because I can't buy them as cheap as Amazon, but I'll put an affiliate link at the bottom of the um, page so that if you need some, you can go pick them up. So with our E53, I'm just going to redo right where I did it the last time. I have some um, Faber-Castell pencils too. I haven't really used those as much. So, and I know somebody last week or the week before said they'd just gotten some, so I thought we could try those out. Next, we're gonna go with E51. And they're just different. And like everything, they take they take practice. And I haven't used them for a while, so. I always feel it looks silly when I get started, but after you get going, it's okay. And I've already colored my boy like five times, so. Just for his skin. I'm like, that looks terrible. I've had to try different skin tones and stuff to see how that would all work out. I'm going to go with E50 to go over her entire face. Just 
got a little bit of a line right here, so I'm going to go over that a couple of times. Try to soften that out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Then let's do, so if, let's do our eyes next. So what do we do for that? Oh, no, let's see, 45, 52, and B triple zero. So we're going to use B 45, 52, and B triple zero. And I'm going to start with B 45. And for that, I want to do at the top and on the left. So right here on the top and then down the left side. Same for this one. And then we're going to do B52. Yes, we're going to do a boy image this time. What did I do with him? I've got all this stuff piled up here. We're going to do this Sassy Cheryl image called Final Destination. He's new over at um, Sassy Cheryl. So if you want to go grab him up, you can. He's in the new section. Isn't he cute? Love him. So I've, that's how far I've gotten. I've colored his face and his, his knees there. So I'm going to try. The hair is kind of looking a little daunting, but I'm going to make it work. So next we'll add our B52. So for that, we're gonna add just a little bit more on this side, on the right. And then I'm gonna bring it down to the bottom. Same for this one. And then I'm going to fill it in with my B triple zero. And I think I'll still give her, I give it a couple of coats too. Just to darken them up a little bit. So B45 again. And I probably should have. I'm gonna, I forgot to bring my black pen in, so I'm going to go ahead and color in this center section of her eye because it's not very dark. So since blue is pretty dark there, I'm going to do that with that. Otherwise, I would have used my black. And then we'll do B52. Because later I want to put a little dot there with my Sharpie paint pen. So if I do it now, it'll dry and be fine. Plus, we already have it out. And then our B triple zero. And she's got really big eyes, so the it was pretty easy to do those pupils on there. So for her hair, I'm going to give her reddish hair today. So we are going to use E18, 09, and 11. And I'm going to start with E09. And let's see, let's do a little bit on her little bun up here. She's got a couple little places where it kind of wraps back around. So I'm going to give it a little bit in there and I'm going to end up doing more than one coat. I'm going to do a second coat. That's why I started with this lightest one first or this middle one. If I do the darkest one first. I tend to just use too much. If I do it last then I can just add a little bit. And her hair wraps around down here in the bottom. And she's got a couple of little pieces right here. 
I think last time I colored it, I forgot about those, so I'm going to do those now. Kind of go around her ear. Move this little cap over here. Okay, and then for her bangs, we're going to do a little bit coming up from the bottom. And I'm there's the little space right here. I'm just gonna color that in. And then for the top up here, I want to do right where it's coming out. Let's do there, here, and then it kind of bumps right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in that. And then it's got another little bump out over here. Now we're going to do E11. Hair takes a little bit of practice. It's still in the flicking. I try to keep my lines as pretty skinny. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. And when I color by myself, I move my person around all over the place. So I don't just, I try to keep it pretty still when I'm coloring on the video. But when I'm coloring by myself, I tend to whip it all over the place. So there we got some nice little streaks in there. I try to do, oh, trying to decide where the shadows go. Well, I try to do like this one on her bun. It kind of, see how it kind of knots down and it kind of, you know, it's kind of, it's pulling in be behind the next part. So I try to keep that as a part, as a spot. And you know, down here underneath of her hair is going to be darker. And then maybe this little piece that's coming down right here, the back side's going to be darker because the light's shining on the front, so it's going to be a little bit more shiny. And then all of her bangs are kind of, at least for my bangs, I have them so they're curled and they kind of tuck under a little bit. So that's going to be dark. And then back here in the back where it's coming from the back of her head, I tried to use that as my reference for the dark. Next we're going to do 318. That's kind of how I decide. And a lot of times the artists will do... Um, they kind of give you little lines like this girl. She's got the little lines back here where this bun goes that kind of gave me a little hint that that's it's dipping down inside. Try to be careful by her ear. We don't want to paint her ear. And then over here, and since I want my light to come from this way over here, you know that it's going to be shinier over here. And all this stuff that's back behind this bang area or this front fold down section is going to be a little bit darker than in the front. Now I've got to remember that I just want to do a little bit at the bottom. This is where I get in trouble. I tried, 
I start flicking along and I put too much dark in. And like this piece right here was behind her bangs period. So I'm going to do right in here. And then we've got this up here where it came away from the top of her head. And then I'm going to go again with my second coat of EO9. I'm going to go ahead and color in this hair down here at the bottom. And we'll do her little bangs. And try to keep your flicks going in the direction that her hair is falling. Her hair kind of curves up here at the top, so you want to make sure that your flicks go with the curve. And then we'll add E11. And you can leave some white in there if you like that. I'm just going to go ahead. I hate that. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. I can never get that to look right. And this color will kind of pick up that last EO, EO9 color too a little bit. And kind of spread it around so it's not quite so peachy. Like so. Next, we're going to do her hat and her dress. So let me see. For that, for her dress, we're going to use our 27, 08, 05, and 22. We're also going to use this for some of the streaks on our little hat over there. So we'll do those while we get the colors out. So I'm going to start with my R27. I'm going to go with that on this side of our dress. And she's got a couple little wrinkles right here on her dress, so I'm going to exaggerate those lines a little bit. And then I'm going to also do a little bit on her strap right here. Oh, and she's also got a little wrinkle right here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to do her bow blue, so I want to skip that. But right here, there's a little bit of her skirt showing. That. Ah. And then for her skirt, go down right here. And then I'm going to say there's going to be a wrinkle right. Uh oh, that wasn't her skirt. That was her bow. That's no good. Well, that's too late now. We'll have to figure out how to fix that later. Let's go like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. That. I guess it's going to have to be part of her dress now. And I also want it to be dark underneath of her arm. Then we're going to do R08. And 
Okay, let's not make that worse, Heather. Let's skip that. See if we can fix that with our blue. Let's see, and then I want it to be light right here on this streak where it's really on top of her knee. So we're going to pull this up from our line right here. And then same for this side. Go up. And then let's give this one a little bit on this side and that side. Thanks, Trish. Didn't her hair, her hair, hair did turn out pretty good. I wish I was better at the white streaks, but I can just never get that to look very great for me. Next, we'll add our RO5. And we'll go around over here. And I'm gonna try to leave, let's leave a line right here for our lightest color for our little shadow. And then we're gonna go up. So that this section above her knee is gonna be lighter. And then over here, all this stuff is underneath of the cupcake. I'm gonna cover up most of that. I'll probably give her a um, second coat. So we're going to add R22. And I like to go over her entire dress. I'm kind of liking this color, so I don't think I'll give her a second coat. Except for that bow mishap there. That was no good. Mm, let's see. No, I think I'll give still give her a second coat. Hi Dee, glad you could join us. <laughs> I was thinking maybe I would need a nap myself. Maybe later. All depends. Mr. Hobby Havens caught, catch and caught a bug. The kids gave him a bug, so I might have to take the kids somewhere so that he can have some peace and quiet and enjoy a nap. Maybe we could go watch the new Minions movie. And this is kind of a big pleat right here, so I'm going to bump that out just a little bit more. Make it a little bit darker down there in the seam. <laughs> then we're going to go with RO8. Hopefully you're not going to be sleeping later because, you know, we're going to, I'll be back tonight at 730 doing my live stream for my Bible journaling. So I hope you all can come back and join me for that. I've worked up something to do for page one of the Illustrated Faith I Am devotional kit for day one. And I actually finished day three or day two, so I can share that with you um, tonight at the live stream. And we're going to go with RO5. And then our R22. Hi, Albania. Thanks for joining us. Thank you about her hair. I'm kind of liking it myself this time. Sometimes I'm not too happy with the way it turns out, but today I'm pretty happy with it. So there we got her dress all colored. So I'm going to grab her little hat here. Since I got these colors out, I'm going to try to multitask and do um, two things at once. So we're going to do alternate stripes on our hat. So I'm going to do, well, skip a few. So I'm going to start with my R27 and let's do this top one. 
And then let's see, let's do this large one right here. Oh. And then let's see, one, two, this one, three up from the bottom. And my hat's gonna be like this on the card, so I want this side to be darker. Then we're gonna add R08. And up here it's got the little tassel, so I'm gonna go ahead and go around that. So, and then we'll pull this color over this way. And then we'll add R05. I'm going to go ahead and fill this section up here in. There's not much left. And then we'll finish it up with our R22. And even though I filled this one all the way in, I'm going to go over it with my R22 to kind of soften it. There's a little bit of a line there, so let's pull this way and that way. Got a little hat there. Okay, so let's see here. So next, go back over here and we will do this O. So luckily for me, we're going to start with R our BG57, so that's pretty dark, so hopefully that's going to cover up my little boo-boo there. So we're gonna use BG57, 53, and triple zero. I don't know if it'll cover it all the way, but whoops, so we're gonna use BG57 first. Let's do a little dab in here. And then for her bow, let's go this and I want to go right next to her arm and then I'm going to bring this one down too. We'll exaggerate that and then right here where I did this red I'm going to color right over the top of that and it's not going to color it all the way but it will help it a little bit. Then down here we're going to do her shoe. So let's do the back of her shoe That. Hi Sue, thanks for joining us. 107. Whoa, that's hot. <laughs> I don't we don't have that. We have 64 today. <laughs> Cloudy and gross. We're hoping maybe the it will burn off and we'll have some sun a little bit later. Now we're gonna do BG53. Yes, how many of you are coloring along with me? Or are you just hanging out? You know, this kit is still available over in the store. And there is a link down in the description box if you want to go pick that up. And I'm going to color in her belt. I'm going to go ahead and give this two coats so I'm not worried if it's not taking all the lines out. And then for her bow, I want to go until there's just an edge on the outside. Except for the bottom. Good for you, Dee. I'm glad you're trying to color along with me. Then we'll do BG000. And let's color in her shoe. And then her bow. Yeah, that's gonna need a second coat. 98, where D's, D is at today. Whoa, that's hot too, D, that's too hot for me. And then we'll do 57. For us here on the Oregon coast, 98 and 107 is like a scorcher. That would be, I just wanna go lay in the pool or go down to the river and lay in the river. 
and I need a lot of sunscreen. And this did a pretty good job of covering up my little bow boo boo there. You can still see it a little bit, but it's almost gone. And then we'll add BG53. <laughs> You're so cute, Trish. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do? Um, well, I've got the next couple of weeks planned out, but what do you guys want to do after that? I need suggestions. It's summer here, so I'm kind of falling behind, but I'm trying to keep up on my my kit every other week and then our live stream for whatever we're doing. And then BG triple zero. Then we're gonna do, um, fill it in the rest of the way. Hey Trish, I'm expecting you to put some more in there so that you can get that free shipping on your on your kits you're gonna be getting. Maybe I just need to have a coupon for so 25% off all kits, and then you can put whatever you want in there, and then you don't have to worry about free shipping. It'll be like free shipping. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have put that away because we got to go over here and we got to do our hat. So let me grab our hat. A teacher card and boy, remember next week we're going to do for our live stream, we're going to do this final destination image by Sassy Cheryl. We're going to color him with our Prisma color pencils. So if you want to go grab him, you can. And he's printed on a um, four and a quarter by five and a half inch sheet of paper. So he's taking up most of the area. I left it a little bit over here space so that I could cut a little bit off and put a little piece of colored paper on the side of my card when I'm done. So I shrunk him just enough inside, probably, oh, quarter of an inch on this side. And over here, there was like a flower and some more line for hill, but I just cut that off. Because I'm going to only color him. I seen a card over on Sassy Cheryl's blog on their Sassy Cheryl neighborhood. Um, Facebook page that the girl had just colored the boy and a little bit of grass and everything else was white on there. It was so pretty. So I'm going to borrow her idea and do that. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to, oh, he would be a good idea for a Bible journaling page. Do you have an idea? Make sure to text me that and we'll maybe work on that later. Remember tonight at 7.30, my time, so Pacific time, we're going to be doing um, a Bible journaling page with the Illustrated Face I Am Kit, day one. So for this, I'm going to use it on the tassel. So if you want to join me for that, you can. It'll be my very first time doing that live. So it's kind of scary, but I'm going to make it work. Then let's do this one underneath the red. And then the one above the red. And then this one above the red. Sorry, kit, um, Trish, the boy card will not be a kit because it's a digital image. So um, you have to go, I can't put that in the kit. So, but I'm just gonna make him white. It's gonna be mostly white with like a little piece of scrap paper on the side. So you wouldn't really need a kit for that. You can go and use um, your scrap pile. I know you have a scrap pile of, of paper. And then BG53. But I'll show you the finished card. I'm going to try to finish him up today and I'll get him posted over on the store blog so you can see what the card looks like. And then um, we'll just color the digi up so that you can make your own card kit. I know we all have that scrap pile, right? I'm not the only one who has the huge scrap pile. Actually, mine's not really too bad now because I have my friend D who has 
bunch of kids at her house and I, I pile all those scrap pages into her box when she places an order and she shares them with the kids so they can make some crafts. Otherwise my scrap pile would just be astronomical. Then we're going to do BG triple zero to fill it in. And I got a little bit of red in this line, but we're just going to push that back. little hat so the boy one we're going to color next week live is not going to be a kit because it's a digital image and I can't I don't have a way to make it into a kit and it's going to be mostly white so you will not need a kit for that but I may make sure and um, make him up later today and put him on the store blog so you guys can go see what all is entailed in that along with the colors so that you can um, if you're gonna do the coloring with me on the which pencils to get out. So let's see our girl here. Let's do, oh, let's do the cupcake next. So that was E49 and 47. And then after we do the final destination, the next week is going to be this little ladybug by Saturated Canary. This is a kit. So if you want to grab her, I will put a head over to the store and pick her up. Just type little ladybug onto the search bar and she will pop up or I can add a link down in the description bar after the video. And if you want to pick her up, you can get her for 25% off with coupon code. I got to find my coupon page. Um, July 20 and you can get 25% off. And if you order her soon, she'll be there at your house before we do the live stream. So next we're gonna do our cupcake. So E49, and I'm not gonna do anything fancy with my cupcake. I'm just going to color underneath of this frosting. And I don't use E49 very much, so I'm gonna to try to be very careful because it's very wet. Like that, E42, that's technical. And then E47. I'm also having, in case I've, you weren't here at the start, I have a, a coupon going for Copics for a dollar off if you need some new Copics. Um, just use coupon code Copic in the coupon section and you can get a dollar off of those. Because I know some of those kits have quite a few um, colors in there. This one has a lot. And the little ladybug one has all that great red in there and a few new browns that I don't usually use. So don't forget to use your coupon for the little ladybug, Sue. It's July 20. Okay, so there's our cupcake. So next, let's do this little wrapper. So for that, we are going to use Y23 and 32. So I'm gonna start with my Y23. And I'm not, again, I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Right here's a little bit of wrapper showing on the back. Same for this side. I'm going to color that. And then let's do, I'm going to color this one into where her hand is. And then I'm going to go right along half of each of these little lines. And then I'm going to color this last one in. I'm going to use these colors on our hat too, so we don't want to put those away. 
and then y32 to fill it in. And then I'm going to go ahead and do with my second coat of my y23 just to darken that line back up. Then we also want to use these on our hat. So let's see. Let's do this big one. And then this big one underneath the red. And this one underneath the red. Um, I'm not sure, Trish, if you can use more than one coupon or not. But if you want to use both coupons and you um, don't qualify for free shipping, I will combine them and give you a refund for the free shipping, if that makes sense. No, Copics are going to be, they're a dollar off um, each. So if you put 25 Copics in your cart, you're going to get $25 off. If you put two in your cart, you're going to get $2 off. And then the little ladybug kit is 25% off with coupon code July 20. But like I said, if you, I don't know if it'll let you use more than one coupon, but if you order, make two orders and it goes over the free shipping thing, I will combine them and then just give you a refund for the shipping part. Next, we're going to do Y20, Y32. I'll turn it right side up so everybody can see it the right way. And then I'm going to give it, like I did on my cupcake wrapper, I'm going to give it um, a second coat of my Y23. Okay, whoops, about lost my pin there. Next, what do we have? Oh, the frosting. Oh, let's see. We are going to use for that R08, R00, and R00. So for our cupcake frosting over here, I'm going to start with R00. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm going to color in this first swirl right here. And then for each of these swirls, I'm just going to go up the side. And then there's this little bitty swirl right here. I'm going to color that in. And then again, go down the inside of this line. And if you color over that dot, those dots, it's not going to be any big deal because we're going to color those with the darkest red. And then R triple zero. And to fill it in, I'm going to have light pink frosting. And then we'll do R08 for the little dots. And then we have our hat. So we're going to use the R00. And fill in this bottom one. And then our triple zero. Like that. So there's our little hat and our girl. So for our girl, I'm going to add some Spica clear glitter pin to her hair. So I just like sparkle, so I always put a little bit of sparkle in her hair. And 
And this is a new pin, so I've got to kind of keep it moving. Otherwise, it leaves a big blob at the end. Barry's got lots of sparkles in it. And then we're going to do our Sharpie White paint pin. And I'm going to shake it with the lid on. And then I'm going to try it on my paper <laughs> so that I don't make a big blobby mess on my girl because I want to give her some eyes. Give her a couple little dots there for her eye. And then I'm going to use this Wink of Stella clear brush pen to add some sparkles to, let me see my card here. What did I put this on? Oh, on my little hat. So on my little hat here, I'm going to put my sparkles onto the blue parts. And you can add a few layers. It'll be really sparkly. I'm going to put a second coat on there. Make it very sparkly. And then I'm going to cut it out. So let me see if I can zoom up a little bit. Oops, wrong way. Because we are going to put our card together. So let me see here. I have all this stuff, but I'm going to quickly trim out my little parts. And it looks like I trimmed it on the line. So I'm not an expert cutter, but these things are pretty easy. Those are our little images. So hopefully you girls, did you have any questions while I'm cutting out my parts? That's one thing, when you shoot a video where there's nobody with you, you have all the time in the world to cut things out. So I'm going to cheat and kind of go across the top here. Cut that off. And then we will cut this section out. Are you girls expert fussy cutters? I'm not so good at that. I guess that's why I like when you can buy the, the stamps with the die. Even though they're more expensive, it is way faster. You just <laughs> cut it right out. For me, sometimes it's worth every penny. But these ones aren't too bad. Because there's a lot of free space. Okay, then I cut out my little girl here. Luckily, she's pretty straightforward too. And when I do my fussy cutting, I try to move the paper. So I'll bring the scissors up and then I move the paper along the scissors. Makes it a little bit easier. And cut this big section off. around that little curly cue.
Yes, I'm completely with you on this um, extra on this fussy cutting thing. Even though this one is pretty straightforward, it's it's not my fussy cutting is not my favorite thing to do. But since I put her on top of the card, I wanted room for my saying, so I decided to cut her out so that she wouldn't take up quite so much room. And this one's not really that complicated. It's just time consuming, I guess. So yeah, I'm into that whole just buy the die for it. But this one's an older image, so she doesn't have a die. Okay, this extra paper is going to have to go. I guess that's why you see most of my card kits, they don't. So every once in a while I'll throw in one you have to fussy cut, but usually they're on some kind of square, so you just stamp them and you're good to go. But sometimes you want a little bit smaller card, like this one's only a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, so you didn't want to take up all of your space with um, a big giant square of paper. I wanted to be able to see some of this um, paper in the back. And I actually, this paper is some boy paper. So if you're needing some boy paper for a card, this would be the perfect paper for that. And I just picked my paper first. And then I colored my image to go with the paper. And it matches perfectly. It doesn't look like too boyish cards, too much boy paper at all. Yay, I'm getting close to the end. I'm so glad a lot of those flower stamps they have nowadays are just like, they're really intricate, so I definitely get the die for those. Because they are not, unless you're just going to emboss it and watercolor it or just color it on the paper, you do not want to be cutting those out. They are not that great for cutting. Okay, so there, we've made it all the way to the end. That seemed like it took an eternity. Hopefully it didn't. So we've got all of our stuff here. So first off, I want to make sure my card's going the direction that it wants to go, but we don't want to start with that because I want to put string on it. So we're going to start with all this stuff. Let's do this triangle, or this diamond piece, and then this little chevron piece and did i bring my glue oh no i didn't okay one second i gotta go grab the glue Sorry about that. I forgot my tape runner. I remembered everything else, but forgot that. I even remember the scotch tape. Okay, so we're going to glue this on. And hopefully we won't run out of tape today, like last time. Then we're going to stick this down on here. Next, we're going to do the little blue piece. This little cute one here. And this one is about, let me see, oh, about half an inch up from the bottom. So how about like this? Oh, that's good, Heather. It's not long enough to go on the paper, so I guess I could trim that. I'm just going to wing it. So we've got that, and then we're going to add this little piece with the um, stars, or with the plus signs. I guess this is a nut. It's called nuts and bolts, I think. And then for this piece, let's go... It's kind of in the middle of this chevron piece. Is it straight? How about like this? That. And then we have this. 
this little cupcake. Well, let's do that lot next. Okay, so we're going to do our string next. I've got this great piece of twine. And so what I do is I fold it in half. And then I'm going to hold it over my card. And I want it to wrap around three times. So one. And then I'm going to bring this piece around. Two, three. So it'll come back around to this side. And this will come to this side. Then I'm going to flip it over. This. And I'm going to take my scotch tape. And I don't know if this is archival free or not, but I don't care about that. I just want it to hold the, the stuff down. So I just tape it on the back like so. I figured my friend, whoever I give this to, is not going to keep this card for an eternity. And then we just tie this. And I want it to go, I want it to go underneath this. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it underneath this. Hold on to it here. Tighten it up. And I'm going to tie it a second time. Get in there. This is a lot easier when you're doing it by yourself. Okay, so we're going to hold it and tighten this down. Ta-da! See, that wasn't complicated at all, was it? <laughs> so go like that, and then we're going to make a little bow. Obviously, I should have maybe moved it over a little bit, but we're just going to go with this. Maybe I just didn't give myself enough string. Whoops. I should have definitely gave myself some more of this twine. On your, on your kit, I gave you more twine. I just, silly me, just rolled some out and said, oh, that's good enough. That's what I get for not paying attention. Okay, like so. And then we're going to cut this end off. Ta-da! And then for this, we're going to attach it to here. And I'm going to put some pop dots on the back so that I don't have to worry about this string bumping it up. Mush them down. <laughs> I just got to read in the comments. That's cute, Sue. You probably cut her half. I'm glad. Oh, I'm so glad that I didn't cut her head off. <laughs> uh, okay, so. It is a little nerve wracking knowing that you guys are watching and uh oh, what if I cut her head off? Okay, so we're gonna go like that and then we'll put on this little Happy Cupcake Day stamps sentiment here that comes with your kit. I'm sure that's happened to me. I've cut, cut things off that don't need to be cut off. Okay, so let's go, I want it above the blue thing and kind of at an angle, so let's go like this. And then we'll do our cupcake, our little hat. That would have been a tragedy if I would have cut her head off. <laughs> we would have just, I would have, I would have fixed her. I would have put a little piece of cardstock behind her little neck and I would have fixed her so I could still use her.
because it is pretty dinky. And I wish my bow was a little bit bigger. <laughs> okay, then we got our girl. And I wanted her to be standing on the string. Whoops, not like that. Okay, so whoops, I should have put this, this popped up, up a little bit more. So let me take it back off. Hopefully it doesn't rip it up. <laughs> this is not going very well. Okay, let's put that back. I'm going to need a pop dot. <laughs> Believe me, it's a lot easier to put it together when you're by yourself. Okay, so I wanted to stand onto this stuff here. So let's go like this. <laughs> oh. Oh, so there she is all finished up. Didn't she turn out cute? Even though, you know, I had a mishap. My little piece of paper here is a little bit smaller. And if I was in my room, I would have definitely trimmed that so that it was even. Um, <laughs> and my string would have been a little bit longer, but we can't have everything because we're live. And <laughs> I try to bring everything in here so I don't to spend all day um, wasting your time. So there is our beautiful Baker May all colored up. If you would like to go get her a kit, I'll put a link down in the description box because there are still some available. Don't forget next week we are going to color Final Destination by Sassy Cheryl Stamps with Prisma Color Pencils. So that's next Thursday at noon. And then the following Thursday, July 20th at noon, we're going to color Little Ladybug and she's a card kit in the store. I will put a link down in the description box or if you head over to the store, it will be in the scroll bar here in a little bit. I will go fix that so she's the number one item that you see. And if you would like to grab her, you can have her for 25% off if you use coupon code July 20 in the coupon box. You can get that for 25% off. Copics are a dollar off each until 7-12. If you use coupon code COPIC. And if you would like to join me tonight for Bible journaling, I'm going to try to do that live. That should be pretty funny. So everybody should get a good laugh out of that. I've never done that. But me and my friend D decided that I would do it. And I said, okay. And then after I said yes, I was terrified, but I'm going to still do it. So Illustrated Faith I Am Kit is what we'll be working on for day one tonight at 7.30 Pacific time, if you would like to join. So if you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. If you have a suggestion for a future live stream, let me know in the comments below and I will add it to my list of things for us to work on. And I'm always willing to try something, even if I haven't done it before, I can look silly, it's all right. I might practice a few hundred times before beforehand, but I'm not gonna tell you that. So thanks a lot, ladies, for joining me. I hope you had fun coloring today. I really appreciate you shopping with me and supporting my live stream videos. And we'll see you either tonight at 730 or I'll see you next Thursday at noon. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.